It's Farm Friday, y'all. We got five houses to look at today, so let's get on to the first one. All right, we're at our first property here. This one's a four bedroom, three total baths. 2680 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, I just walked inside the property here. You're welcome to your living and dining room. Got an electric fireplace there. Here's your dining room with the gold light fixture. Moving over to your kitchen. You got open shelving here with that rustic wood look with shaker style cabinets on the lowers. All gold trim. Nice high-end KitchenAid appliances, as you can see. Moving along down the hallway here. I believe this is just like an office area, because it definitely isn't a bedroom. Here is your first bathroom. Nice deep tub. Moving along, we're going to head upstairs. At the top of the stairs, you do have this nice accent wall. And this is kind of like a loft area up here. And it also does have a nice balcony that looks out to the main road. Here's bedroom number one. I believe this is your primary bedroom. Nice accent wall. This one also has a balcony facing the back of the home. And then here is your full bath as well. And wow, check out this shower. You got your tub inside your shower. Pretty nice. Walk in closet. All the gold accents, of course. Sometimes it looks like a little bit of overkill when there's too much. Like those mirrors, I feel like they should have been black. And then the accents of the actual light pictures were gold. So now we're headed back downstairs. We saw two bedrooms so far, going back through the living room, and now we're headed downstairs. Brand new carpet, as you can see. And now we're on the basement level here. You have access to the backyard here. little mini bar are these light fixtures oh they are they look like little records that's pretty cool here's your laundry for your washer and dryer utility room which is your giant water heater that one is huge here's another full bath Ooh, and there's heated floors in here nice nice touch and then here is bedroom number three And last but not least, bedroom number four. So you got two down and two up, which is nice. Nice separation. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a four bedroom, three total baths, 2680 square foot home, built in 1923. But as you see, there has been plenty of updates. Going for 875 in the Renton area. On to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our next property here. This one's a five bedroom, four total baths, 3430 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walk inside the property and you're welcome to this grand entryway. Got stairs going up, stairs going down. First things first, let's go to your right. 
Over here you have a living city, living room here. I, guess it's, I don't know if it's a formal living room, office, or what. But there's closet doors, so you actually can consider that a bedroom if you put doors on it. To my left, this is actually your formal living room. It does face the street, that covered patio there. Moving along into your formal dining room, that also goes out to your backyard in your large deck. Check how big this backyard is, it's huge. Head it over to your kitchen and your pantry there. And wow, this kitchen definitely needs some loving. Looks like they put new flooring and paint in here, but this kitchen here, you got yellow countertops, these older cabinets here. Check out this dishwasher. No hood, doesn't vent out anywhere. But yes. And then you're gonna flow over here to your family room area. Probably can put a breakfast nook here. And then you have your all your stuff there for your family room. Two car garage with attic access there. Here is your laundry room in addition to some additional storage. Headed back towards the front of the home, you have your half bath here. And then we're gonna head downstairs and then we'll go upstairs. It's a big house. So the bottom of the floor, on your right, you have another family room slash den. It's actually pretty big down here. And then, here is a three-quarter bath. Here's another area. I'm not sure what you'll use this area for, but it's similar to like a dining area that you can use. There's a closet, so it could be a bedroom. I don't know. Wow, there's tons of space down here. And this is, again, so we went that way and I went all the way around and now I'm on this side which just has a ton of storage. Got your water heater there, got another slider here so you can actually add square footage to this home because this area is not finished and so you can additionally add additional bedrooms if you'd like, bathrooms because you have all this space that is not taken account of. So moving along, going back upstairs to the main level. And then we're gonna go up the stairs to the upper floor. As you can see, you have an open staircase here. So there's some cool things you can do with this house. Alrighty. So at the top of the stairs, Here's another bedroom. I believe this is bedroom number two, three. It's confusing because some of them don't have doors. Linen closet. Here's another bedroom here. And check out these views you got. Since you sit up so high, you have some territorial views. Here's another three-quarter bath. And check out the color of this toilet. And last but not least, your primary bedroom. This does face the street. It is nice and large. Got another water heater here, wow. So two water heaters in this house. Closet, another closet there. And now you're getting into the blue sink. So you got blue sink and you got a blue tub. 
and toilet. Jeez. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a five bedroom, four total baths, 3430 square foot home, built in 1973, going for 825. In the Skyway area, on to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our next property here. This one's a four bedroom, one and three, one and a half baths, sorry about that. 1650 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walk inside the property here and you're welcome to your living space. Living room actually faces the street. Sounds like a fire alarm it needs to be replaced. Blowing into your dining area. Got your washer and dryer there. And then you have this covered patio as well. Moving along to your kitchen. And it is a very tight kitchen. They should have put a counter depth refrigerator in here to give it a little bit more space. But it is updated. Heading down the hallway. You got your water heater there. Sorry, it's so dark. Here's your full bath. Bedroom number one. Here's bedroom number two. Oh, that one's right above my head. And then we're gonna head upstairs. And upstairs to my left, you got bedroom number three. Here's a half bath up here. And then here's bedroom number four. And I also saw that there was something outside in the backyard. Not sure if it's like a mother-in-law suite or what, but we're gonna go check it out. So the key that they provided, unfortunately, does not open it. Let me check and see if this door opens with the key. It doesn't. But it looks like it could be another mother-in-law suite, which is nice, because then you'll have that additional income while you're living in the front house. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a four bedroom, one and three quarter baths, 1650 square foot home, built in 1944 with additional mother-in-law suite, not sure what the size of it is, going for 635 in the Skyway area. On to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our next property here. This one's a five bedroom, three full baths, 2,000 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walked inside the property and you're welcome into your entryway here. I believe this is under stair storage and coat closet, which I was right. You got stairs to go up there. We'll go up there in a minute. And then you have your two car garage. That's insulated, R13, I did not miss that. So moving along into your living space, it's actually a decent sized living room. And you got nice big picture windows that do face the street, but kind of pulled back and tucked away. Flowing into your dining room. There you go. And then that also has a slider that goes to your backyard. Got a hot tub there, covered patio, and actually the backyard's pretty good size. Moving along into your kitchen. And you got painted cabinets here and uh, granite countertops. Um, all stainless steel appliances, as you can see, minus the fridge. It is closed off. I would definitely knock this wall out to make it more of an open concept to your living and dining room, though. Moving along down the hallway. Whoa, this is huge. You have this huge bedroom here. I believe this is the primary suite. On the other side of this wall is your kitchen. So you can actually bump your kitchen out and make this a bigger kitchen and just have a smaller bedroom if you'd like. Over here is your full bath. And this bathroom is definitely shared with that large bedroom as well. You have a door. That goes there. 
Moving along down the hallway, back towards the front door. Got that mustard colored door. Going upstairs. Storage closet here. Here's bedroom number two. I believe this might be a primary bedroom as well because you do have your own full bath ensuite. Going down the hallway, got plenty of storage along this hallway. Here's bedroom number three. This is bedroom number four. We've got another full bath here. Washer and dryer hookups. And then here is bedroom number five. A lot of bedrooms in this house. Wow. And it's actually pretty well laid out. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a five bedroom, three total baths, 2,000 square foot home, built in 1985, going for $849,950 in the Skyler area. On to the next one, guys. All right, we're at our last property here. This one is a four bedroom. One and three quarter baths, 1920 square feet. Let's take a look inside. All right, just walk inside the property and you're welcome into your living area. Got a wood burning fireplace there. Coat closet. Head over to your dining room. Do you have some natural light that comes in? Just really nice. Over here is your kitchen that is open to the living space. Got your quartz countertops, subway tile, and also stainless steel appliances. This also has access to a back to your back deck. It's nice there. Moving along down the hallway. To my left, you have bedroom number one. Then you have your full bath. Fully remodeled, as you can see. Here is bedroom number two. Bedroom number three here, and this one has access to that deck. We'll use this more for an office. And then we're gonna head downstairs to the lower level. So now we're at the basement level. This is your utility room where you put your washer and dryer and you got your furnace over there as well and water heater. Family room is here. Another wood burning fireplace. Nice space. You can tuck the kids down here. It could be like a little man cave or whatever you want to call it. This one here is not a bedroom, but it is a storage room because there's no closet and no window. Here's your three quarter bath. And then here is another bedroom here. I believe this is bedroom number four. And last but not least, you have this kind of mudroom area as well that you can do actually whatever you like in this area. But it does have a separate entrance as well so you can actually kind of convert this into like a kitchen area if you wanted to for like an Airbnb or, or just an additional rental. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a four bedroom, one and three quarter baths. <clears throat> Sorry, 1920 square foot home built in 1955, but as you see, it has been updated. Going for 719,500 in the Skyway area. And that's it for Farm Friday this week. 